Welcome back to Freestyle Games, I'm Jamie Jackson. So we wanted to tell you a lot more about the Rockstar experience you're gonna get in Guitar Hero Live. So you're gonna be taken to the stage as the lead guitarist for 10 bands across two festivals. So the first festival is Sound Dial. Uh, this is a European festival set in the UK. So we've tried to kind of build something that really embodies UK festivals. Rock the Block's a complete contrast to Sound Dial. So it's set in the US, it's set within a city. So these, these stages are in streets, they're in city parks. Uh, the crowd are gonna be completely different. We make Atari Alive by filming it all live action. You know, we actually built these stages and we even went to people that built these stages for festivals, so super authentic. Whereas before, you know, the camera was down in amongst the audience and it was looking up at the performers were up on stage, this time we've turned the camera around. So Guitar Hero Live offers this first person experience. We wanted to give you that up and down roller coaster experience of what it feels like to be a real rock star. So alongside the festival experience, we've also got JHTV. It's our first 24 hour, seven days a week playable music video network. You're gonna be able to jump online whenever you want and there's gonna be music for you to play. You're gonna be able to change channels if you don't like the music you jump into. And on top of that, you're gonna be able to play music on demand. I mean, it's a totally new type of game, but the core of JHTV, it's not just about playing the game, it's about discovering music. We're able to continually update the schedule of songs that are playing on the channels and update the list of songs that are in the on-demand song list, so we'll be able to put new songs and new material into the game. But it also allows us to listen to our fans, so you know we can see what they're playing, see what they enjoy, and make sure that they get more of that. So we're working with our partners in the music industry in order to secure new music content for our players. So we've been working with Avenged Sevenfold to have some great stuff in the game for launch. So as well as the progression system in GH Live where you're going to be getting crowd rewards and you're going to be completing stages, in GH TV there's a huge amount of progression as well. I'm going to be constantly earning in-game currency which is going to allow me to buy new guitar skins, it's going to allow me to get new gems, it's going to allow me to get new hero powers. So as I hit kind of level 10 maybe, I'm going to unlock Rivals mode where I'm going to be able to go up against other people and take them on side by side. When we started thinking about Guitar Hero Live, we knew we wanted to make a game that gave everybody choice and there was something for everybody. And that kind of goes back to the new controller layout, you know, with six buttons, so you've got that great depth to it. But also music choice was a huge thing for us. There's such a breadth of musical genres in there. Um, and then we also wanted to cater to the types of player. You know, we know we've got Guitar Hero hardcore players that want to unlock everything and want 100% everything. So that's there for you in GH Live and TV. But we also know we've got those casual players that just want to get together with their mates and just kind of jam out in their living room. So quick playing lives there for you, or you can totally get lost in GH TV because there's just so much content. So ultimately, we wanted to make a game that was fun, and that's whether you're playing single player or whether you're playing with a bunch of mates in your living room. If you've got two guitars, you can just bring the other one around, plug it in, and you're going to have local competitive play, and you can do that on GHTV and on live. And so there's a local multiplayer experience, but there's also an online multiplayer experience to compete against other players around the world to be one of the top players in GHTV. One of the cool things about Guitar Hero was it had singing, and that's the same in Guitar Hero Live. You can plug a microphone in, the note highway is going to come across the top of the screen, and your friend's going to be able to join in and sing the heart out. So this October, you're going to be able to get your hands on Guitar Hero Live. You're going to get Guitar Hero Live. You're going to get the new Guitar Hero controller, and you're going to get access to GHTV. And we just can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Yeah.